Mike is here. Mike, Mike, uh, thanks for letting me into your uh, state in, in Edmonton. Uh, what's going on? Well, I'm just enjoying, you know, my luxury estate as a filmmaker in Canada. That's sort of what you're given, all of us. I directed a film called Knuckleball. Grandpa. I need to call my parents. Storm. Once it starts, the phones go down. Run! Run! Hi, Henry. I was talking to Lloyd, who I'd worked with before on Tiny Plastic Men, about uh, one of my first jobs, which was on a trauma film. So I was called up to do an interview with one of the stars for the Behind the Scenes DVD. It was called Chopper Chicks in Zombie Town. And they said, we can't pay you. And I was told, that's the norm. But I was like, I don't care. I love, uh, I love trauma and I have, you know, Toxic Avenger and all those things, things I grew up with. So to me, it was like a really big, Deal. I was in North Carolina at the time. I was going to the University of North Carolina. Um, they wanted me to shoot the behind the scenes extras uh, for with one of the actresses who was doing a play in North Carolina at that time and apparently they needed it, uh, you know, lickety split. Jamie Rose, I think. That's correct. How was Jamie Rose? She was great. Yeah. She was really pleasant. We did it, we did it pretty quickly. I was still pretty early on in my days, but I think I made her look good. The best moment besides they gave me uh, a bunch of uh, great DVDs from the Troma Collection in lieu of payment is um, when I was at the at the Best Buy or wherever picking up the the video I could show my parents that I'd worked on a Troma film and boy were they proud. Have you got any advice for the uh, fledgling filmmaker since you're still a young handsome man? <laughs> I get that all the time. Um, the handsome part. <laughs> um, <laughs> You just gotta make movies, and that's what Troma does, and that's what they always show you how to do. You just go and make stuff. That's how you become a filmmaker, is you make films. Oh, yeah.